law enforcement agents from the New York City Police Department, the Drug Enforcement Administration, and the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York have been investigating the Blackstone Guerrilla Gang, BSGG, a violent blood street gang that has been operating in the New York City metropolitan area since at least 2011. BSGG is a criminal organization whose members and associates engaged in, among other things, narcotics trafficking, bank fraud, wire fraud, obstruction of justice, and acts involving murder, assault, and robbery. There were names like Rico, Tay, Chino, Slime, AB, JV, Macha, Mixie, WB, and Rover. Reckless was a member of the gang as well. He participated in BSGG by serving in various leadership capacities within the gang. He served as a godfather of BSGG between 2017 and 2020, the highest position available outside of prison. At any given time, BSGG typically had two godfathers in the streets of New York City, along with a separate leadership hierarchy for BSGG members who were in custody. As one of the godfathers of BSGG, Reckless was responsible for bringing new members into BSGG, disciplining disfavored members of BSGG, and ordering and approving shootings, slashings, and assaults of rival gang members. Reckless also served as one of BSGG's suppliers for crack cocaine, powder cocaine, and heroin. Reckless possessed multiple firearms in connection with his membership in BSGG and BSGG's drug trafficking activities, and Reckless also served as a supplier for firearms when other BSGG members needed firearms for protection or to commit acts of violence. Reckless also participated in numerous acts of violence, including murder. In the early morning hours on December 9, 2012, Reckless murdered Gary Rodriguez. Prior to the murder, Reckless and other BSGG members got into a dispute with a drug dealer named Gary Rodriguez in the vicinity of 3089 Decatur Avenue in the Bronx. Reckless then retrieved a 45 caliber gun and shot Rodriguez in the chest at close range, killing him. Reckless then fled the scene. Gary Rodriguez was 46 years old. On September 5, 2015, Reckless assaulted another inmate while in custody in the New York State Department of Corrections, causing the other inmate to lose consciousness. Reckless ran up to the inmate, knocked him to the ground, and repeatedly punched the victim on the ground. There is also video footage of him choking out a Mac Bowler in jail. Reckless regularly bragged about the assault to other BSGG members and sent surveillance video of the assault to other members of the gang. Between 2017 and 2018, Reckless got into a violent dispute with another BSGG member, Victim 1, about who would serve as a godfather of BSGG. As a result of this conflict, in the summer of 2018, during a BSGG meeting in the vicinity of Olinville Avenue and East Gun Hill Road, Reckless ordered another BSGG member to fire multiple shots at Victim 1. Victim 1 survived the shooting. On August 27, 2018, Reckless ordered co-defendant JV to use a scalpel to slash a rival gang member, Victim 2, while on Rikers Island. Victim 2 was believed to have murdered a BSGG member named Sirius. During a recorded call prior to the slashing, Reckless and another BSGG member, CC1, instructed JV and another BSGG member named B. Dodd to slash Victim 2 using a scalpel. Following the recorded call, JV ran toward Victim 2 and attempted to slash Victim 2 with a 2-inch scalpel blade secured in a pen top wrapped in electrical tape. New York City Department of Corrections officers pushed JV away during the attack and apprehended him. Officers also recovered the scalpel blade. On August 21, 2019, a BSGG member, CC2, was shot in the arm. Following the shooting, CC2 spoke to law enforcement about the shooting. When Reckless learned that CC2 had spoken to law enforcement, Reckless kicked CC2 out of the gang. CC2 later asked Reckless to come back into BSGG, and Reckless told CC2 that CC2 would have to shoot and kill the individual who had previously shot CC2 in August 2019. On January 13, 2020, CC2 was at Reckless's birthday party in Queens when a fight broke out between BSGG members and another group at the lounge. A BSGG member was shot, and CC2 pulled out a gun and shot at the group in retaliation, killing a man. Following the murder, Reckless met with CC2 and provided CC2 with a new cell phone. Reckless also instructed CC2 to give Reckless the firearm that was used to commit the murder, in order for Reckless to dispose of the gun for CC2, which CC2 did. Finally, Reckless's cell phone and iCloud extractions contained numerous other videos depicting Reckless assaulting other individuals for various and unknown reasons. 
On multiple occasions, Reckless is depicted punching and kicking other BSGG members for violating the rules of BSGG, including as a punishment for failing to remember the BSGG oath. On other occasions, Reckless appears to assault strangers on the street. During these videos, Reckless is depicted among other things, hitting an individual in the head with a gun, telling the individual to open his mouth in Spanish, and racking the gun next to the individual's face. Another video, kicking an individual and knocking him unconscious, slamming an individual onto a wooden board, slamming an individual onto the hood of a car, and punching and kicking BSGG members for committing violations of gang rules. On another occasion, he forced an individual to put a condom over his head and into his mouth. He made the individual lay in a suitcase in fetal position, while another BSGG member hits the man with a wooden cane, breaking the cane over the man's head. Grizz was another member. He was previously one of the godfathers of the Blackstone Gorilla Gang. He personally flaunted his BSGG leadership status in numerous rap videos with other BSGG members, including videos where the defendant bragged about his access to firearms, drugs, and money, and videos where the defendant bragged about his leadership position in BSGG, and his ability to send lower-ranking members of the gang to commit acts of violence on his behalf. He was also another primary supplier for drugs and guns to other BSGG members. Grizz, like Reckless, participated in violence and threats of violence, including, among other things, an incident on April 7, 2016. Grizz and others punched a victim multiple times in the face, causing lacerations to the victim's forehead, mouth, and a bloody nose. On June 18, 2016, Grizz ran up to a victim and threatened to hit the victim with a bat. There were numerous incidents where Grizz personally participated in or ordered other BSGG members to put in work against disfavored BSGG members or rival gang members. Grizz also appeared in numerous BSGG rap videos and rapped about BSGG's rules and involvement in violence, drug trafficking, and criminal activity. On the date of Grizz's arrest in March 2020, law enforcement officers seized from Grizz residence, among other things, approximately 65 grams of crack, about 150 twist bags of crack cocaine packaged for sale, drug trafficking paraphernalia, including multiple scales with residue and a vacuum sealer. There was also three firearms, approximately 50 rounds of ammunition, including multiple rounds of hollow point ammunition, and approximately $6,700 in cash. As we stated, the highest leadership position in BSGG is the Godfather or GF. Hoodlum held that position but was replaced while he was serving a 10-year prison sentence. Many of the crimes charged in the original indictment against Hoodlum's co-defendants took place while Hoodlum was imprisoned. But in August 2019, Hoodlum was released to parole after serving a 10-year sentence for assault in the first degree, and an 8-year sentence was criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. Undeterred by his prior imprisonment or his parole status, Hoodlum resumed his leadership within BSGG and was reinstated as the GF, alongside co-defendant Reckless. Members of the gang celebrated Hoodlum's return with a party. Hoodlum soon reasserted his authority through brutal violence. Lower-level members and associates of BSGG sold narcotics in front of 3063 Hull Avenue, an apartment building where an associate of BSGG, Victim 1, maintained an apartment used to store drugs for the gang. On November 12, 2019, Reckless and Hoodlum brutally assaulted Victim 1 in an alley beside 3063 Hull Avenue, breaking Victim 1's arm and inflicted injuries that resulted in substantial bruising to Victim 1's face and body. Surveillance video during the assault shows Reckless dragging Victim 1 into the alley, where Reckless and Hoodlum repeatedly hit Victim 1. In the video, Hoodlum hits Victim 1 over the head with a chair, and a piece of the chair breaks off. Reckless then drags Victim 1 further into the alley, out of the view of Reckless's surveillance footage. Hoodlum grabs a stick from the alley and also goes out of view. Reckless similarly grabs a stick and then goes out of view of the camera. A couple of minutes later, Reckless empties a plastic garbage bag and puts the bag over Victim 1's head in an attempt to suffocate Victim 1. Hoodlum was arrested in this case on March 18, 2020, after being charged in an indictment with assault with a dangerous weapon in aid of racketeering, relating to the November 12, 2019 assault described earlier. That same day, the judge ordered Hoodlum to be released on bail after denying the government's motion for pretrial detention. On March 19, 2020, the judge similarly ordered Hoodlum to be released on bail. 
On February 12, 2021, NYPD officers arrested Hoodlum while Hoodlum was working as a niche employee in the Butler Houses in the Bronx. NYPD officers arrested Hoodlum after niche investigators saw surveillance video that showed Hoodlum in possession of a firearm-like object. At the time of the arrest, Hoodlum had a loaded firearm in his jacket, a Beretta 380 caliber semi-automatic pistol loaded with Blazer 380 caliber ammunition. In the end, Reckless was sentenced to date to 32 years and 6 months in prison. Grizz would be sentenced to 12 years. But this about wraps it up for this one, and as always, stay low and thanks for watching.